next bus had everyone's head in the clouds. But this Spartan turned out to be a Trojan horse. The number two all-time draft bus, Tony Manrich. I'm picking up Sports Illustrated, and I'm seeing this guy from Michigan State, and I'm convinced that, yeah, that's everything I think a dominant offensive lineman should be. And he looked bigger and stronger than any offensive lineman I had seen just on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated, I think, helped make Tony Mandarich with that infamous cover, you know, best offensive line prospect ever. The best offensive lineman ever. The greatest offensive line prospect ever. The can't miss prospect. No way he can miss. Tony Mandrich, I mean, was probably the greatest workout I've ever seen. I remember betting Ken Hero. I saw him on film. And I watched him, I said, this guy's got no feet. The guy looked like Hulk Hogan and uh, weighing 300 pounds, running 4'6". Like Hulk Hogan, Tony Mandarich was a colorful character. He loved guns and roses and had a dog named Axel. In the spring of his senior year, he quit school to lift weights on Venice Beach with the reigning Mr. Universe. A guy that had you know, the hype machine behind him, and arguably he was probably in the best draft. When you think about Troy Aikman was in that draft, Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, Derek Thomas in that draft, that's at the top end. You look back on the guys who were taken around him and what they became, you would say that's one of the worst draft picks ever. Everybody looks and says, well, you know, of course, Troy Aikman was the guy. Well, Troy Aikman didn't even make all Pac-10. So if you were honest about it, we had people on our own staff that wanted to take Tony Mandridge. Most people did see him as a top pick in the draft. My question is, looking back on it, was this guy on steroids? Suspicions of steroid use spread further when Mandridge showed up in Green Bay 15 pounds lighter than his college playing weight. A deflated physique and bad footwork made this former superhero a mere mortal. In all the hype and all the euphoria, forgot to check whether he could play football. I mean, I remember a game that he played against Reggie White when Reggie got his arm hooked under Tony's arm and just threw him aside. The Eagles players were like laughing as they came off the field. And I'm sure Tony Mandridge wasn't used to people laughing at him. So much of his persona was built up in the idea that he was this larger-than-life figure that everybody was afraid of. To not just get beaten, but humiliated like that, I thought it just took him down to a level where it was hard for him to compete at all. 